Hello friends, it is time. It is time for Half-Life. It is half time for Half-Life. It is half time for Half-Life time half half. And I am losing my goddamn mind apparently. Let's just dive right in. Uh, give me a shout if you can't see the screen. It might be a bit wonky because this is an old as hell game. I believe 1998 this was released. I'm gonna kick off on... Uh, let's go with hard mode and see how bad I do. I can always turn it down later, I think. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. Can I have a forklift? The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees, with an estimated high of... 105. This is, of the course, one of the most iconic intros of all time. I feel awkward talking out, talking out, talking over the voiceover, because it was such a... It seems silly now, but it was such a revolutionary way to start a game. There were very few attempts to have an immersive storytelling element to a first-person shooter before this point. You will need to return to the central Hi, hello. in Area 9. And a I don't think it seems silly, but I think it perhaps seems less revolutionary now, because of course this game came out and fundamentally changed the landscape. Also, is that a fucking missile? Processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Actually, can I sit down? Can I can I hop down and have a little rest on here? I'm entitled to use the disabled park uh, disabled seats as my drawing. Toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound. No smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Please keep your limbs. What's a lab without a missile? It's times. a very, very sad Do not lab. Attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. Seems like kind of in a frustrating commute, to be honest. Passengers are to remain seated. You think one of the advantages of living in on-site employee housing, which is where he is coming from, since it mentioned that there was a, uh, a dormitory, uh, you'd really think the, com the commute would be reasonable in that instance, but it still takes about ten fucking minutes. Was that a Black Hawk? I personally reckon that, well, I mean, to be honest, the reason it's there is because they are in aerospace, they launch a, a satellite later, so it's not unreasonable that they would have, you know, uh, orbital launch rocket systems. There's no reason to assume it's a military thing. Well, of course you would know. Also, before I forget, shoutouts to Tiny Tachyon for reminding me to turn off the horrible OpenGL shader system that they introduced in the Steam update of this game. Uh, it makes everything look blurry and weird, rather than having these deliciously crisp, classic 90s um, low-res textures and lovely, lovely polygonal edges to everything. A reminder that the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semi-finals for high school It's funny considering that we'll be engaging in a decapathlon later. Ooh, now that's sciency. Also, this is like the third or fourth guy who's locked out on a gantry. This is not... This does not, like, make me feel particularly... ...confident for my first day at work. Are we stuck? Oh, we were stuck. <laughs> I think the voiceover tells you not to put your hands or limbs outside of the windows of the cart. I guess that's why. I got too close to the edge and it got stuck on something. Ooh, robot. That's a good robot. I love the detail on the pistons. Well, goodbye. I'll never forget you. I love to carry crates around. 
You know what that robot is? He's created his job. I also find the vault door diversity to be pretty amusing. We've got like six different designs so far. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. Hi. If you feel it's my first day. Exposed to Probably. Or other Are we good? Materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. I love the Work quiet small. humor of the um, safety announcement about radioactive substances irony while I just took what, like, probably an unhealthy number of root guns are just, just passing through here. There's no glass in these windows. It's not like it's going to protect me. Please I mean, all of these American government facilities are, like, and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. designed by committee, Before right? Exiting the it's probably 15 different companies contracted for 15 different doors. Belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. I've got to get that military research Why, payout. Mr. Freeman, looks like you're running late. Beep boop, beep beep boop. Is there a walk? Is there? Oh, there is a walk button. It looks like I've got always since always sprint switched on, but my walking speed is like twice his. This guy must have the most boring job on earth. It's literally his job just to stand outside these doors, wait for late scientists to show up, and then let them in. Also, there's nothing quite like uh, a sealed steel box with impossible to open doors, no air vents. Well, that's just lighting, right? To um, make you start, make you start worrying about being locked in forever. Amusingly, that guy outside, it's possible to break his path thing. I've done it by accident before, and if you do that, he just stands there forever, and you have to start over and go through the whole tram thing again. Which is funny. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. System crash, huh? I wonder which one. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? You'll just have to wait until after the test. I thought it was only 10 minutes late, not half an hour. I should get a wiggle on. I should hurry the fuck up. You know, you repeat yourself sometimes. Damn, really? Oh, this guy looks familiar, but he was going in the opposite direction last time we saw him. How suspicious. Can we do this later? Hey, catch me later, I'll buy you a beer. The iconic line, he said it already. Sorry, I'm on duty, Mr. Freeman. I do find uh, I find the guards kind of fascinating because they are identical. There is one guard, they're all the same. Obviously in 1998 that was intended to represent a wide variety of people, you know? Because that's just how games work, you know? You have four models and they all represent a hundred different guys. But the fact that they just arbitrarily decided that one of them was the guy who shows up in the sequel. Ah, hello, Gordon Freeman. And they've good to see you. Done that with all of the individual doctors as well. Look at this. This is Eli Vance, maybe, or maybe yes. one of the other ones is That's Eli Vance. Dr. Kleiner, or possibly some other guy. Working soda machines are nice, though. There's a lot of, just a lot of little details that are fun to fiddle with. My god, what are you doing? Science! It's science. I'm a scientist. So I think, yes, this is where we'll find our iconic HEV suit. And also, I had no idea that half of my audience worked at, worked at Black Mesa. You know who you are. Also, very, very rare, even for an FPS of this era, there's guys shitting in the toilets. That never happens. The, the iconic phrase about how to no, define an immersive sim out? is that um, an immersive sim is a game where there is a toilet in it and you can flush the toilet. How immersive is this sim? There's actually guys in there. This is all within... Hi, hello. Welcome to the this.
Duke Nukem is only an immersive sim depending on your opinion on the stripper models. You know, it's just occurred to me there wasn't a helmet with this thing. I'm not sure how much a, a radiation resistance suit is going to help you if you don't have a helmet with it. I'm pretty sure that breathing in radioactive matter is supposed to be a major component of why it's so dangerous. Also, it's weird that this guy has lower security clearance than I do. I'm the one who needs to go through this door, he never needs to come any further into the facility. Oh, I'm well aware that it's a major point of contention. He's depicted in all of the all of the media without a helmet, so I personally believe he never had a helmet. I did in fact see that the other day. It's it, I just want to point out I really like this effect. It's such a simple and clever way to do what is a very common effect. You know, Back before we had TV screens everywhere, the way you would have multiple ads on a single billboard would be to have rotating sections. So to replicate that effect here, you just have four sides of a of a cubic cylinder, have different pictures on them, and then they rotate, just like in real life. And it means you don't have to load a shitload of different ads in and out on a on a wall texture. I love to trust, you know, corporate made infrastructure. I think it's cool and will never fail or cause problems ever. Despite that conspicuous ladder in the corner. Wait, they don't rotate? I thought they were just rotating cubes. It seems honestly harder to fake it than to just make it work. Morning. There's a small part of me that's always worried that the doors won't open for me. Oh, that's remarkable. Sorry, sir. I've got to stay at my post. Sorry, I'm on duty, Mr. Freeman. What does he think I'm asking him to do? I assumed he needed to open the door for me, like a bunch of the other ones. Ah, ambiguous machinery. Mysterious, possibly purposeless machinery. Curious, purposeless, mechanical nonsense. Hello. Ah, Gordon. Here you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. There's something so menacing about the way he says that. In the test chamber. Oh, actually, I can probably turn on the subtitles if you want, if they exist. I can't guarantee that they do, because again, this game is from 1998. Audio. Video. Hmm. I don't see subtitles. I wonder if there's an, I wonder if there's an accessibility mod. Yeah, no, the audio is remarkably deep fried. You'd um you'd think that modern releases of it would not have that problem, but the problem I think is with the original recordings. Although I'm just surprised that they never re-released the re remade the audio. Is that supposed to happen? Like I've never worked in a high powered nuclear facility before. Oh, is it too quiet? I can boost the audio. I turned it down earlier because it was deafening me. Let's have a look, see. Audio. Uh, is that the sound effects volume? Probably not. MP3 volume, maybe? Let's try it like this and let me know if it is too loud and if you can still hear me. Because my worry is that this incredibly deafening noise that's happening in my ears right now will be too much. Too bad? No good? See, I'm not really sure what to do about this. This is what happens when you try and play games from too long ago. Case in point, my uh, missed mess Let's Play that I started the first episode airing today has some pretty crunchy audio in it. I'm afraid we'll 
will be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Honestly, you're kind of right. This man has... I've never seen a pair of men who have more pocket protector energy. I'm pretty sure this is just Albert Einstein, but this guy? This man worked in accounting for six years. Anyway, give me a shout if it is still too loud or if I need to turn it down even further, and I will figure out a mod for subtitles before next time. I normally just switch the subtitles on in games, it just didn't occur to me this time. You see, Gordon Freeman did go to MIT, but what he studied was athletics. He was on he was on the sports team. That's why it's his job to climb up here and touch buttons. This seems normal. I'm sure a lot of people are paid to stand inside nuclear reactors. Or resonance chambers, perhaps. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. Interesting side note nobody ever picks up on is that they apparently have anti-gravity technology. So if we're having trouble hearing the dialogue that they're saying, I may as well just tell you what's happening, which is that they're doing they're doing science words and making research noises. Probably, but I'm showing a small discrepancy. Well, no, it's well within acceptable Now now they're insisting that everything is fine. I've just been informed that the sample is ready for it. It should be coming up to you any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. I've been training. I've been training my whole life for this moment. I graduated top of my class at, at Science Sports University. I just have to not fuck it up. There's a particularly odd and intelligent menace to the Resonance Cascade. There's something that really amuses me about the fact that it decides to almost intentionally blast through the one tiny hole. Apparently I'm speaking incredibly loudly, so I am actually going to turn the game audio down a bit further. So that I don't deafen everyone else in the house with me. Tweak, 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 tweak. Why won't this move? There we go. Come on, Gordon. You'll be okay. You trained for this. I knew I should have taken that elective on what to do when you get teleported. Oh, these seem kind of chill, actually. Hi, guys. You know, these guys look kind of gaunt. I wonder if they're eating properly. This is, this is fine. This is nothing to worry about. This is completely normal. 
I'm uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go sit down in the in the in the break room for a bit. Like, oh jeez. <laughs> Looks like his. You know what though? That pocket protector. Like his pens are fine. Like it didn't protect the guy, but his pocket seems seems completely unaffected by this disaster. Imagine if the doors just broke, though. Imagine being stuck in a facility, deep underground, in a tiny box, full of radiation with no way out. What fun thoughts to think about. What a dead guys today. Fortunately- whoa, Yowza, that guy just burst. Fortunately, Gordon Freeman is, uh... is a man with no fear. He's used to this sort of thing. Am I supposed to just go through here? Oh, okay. Something- somehow- for some reason I suspected that door was completely and utterly broken, but apparently not. It's fine. Let's not worry about it. Oh yeah, also, presumably they were already experimenting with, uh, with teleportation experiments. Like, this wasn't their first attempt. Oh, are you talking to me? I'm afraid to move him and all our phones are out. Please, get to the surface as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. You'll need me to activate the retinal scanners. I'm sure the rest of the science team will gladly help you. Do you mean this guy specifically? Because they did just take the different models from this game and declare them to be characters. All of it. Because we've seen like six of this guy already. My personal headcanon is that there's just a cloning facility down in the basement. There's about 1,500 sub-basements to Black Mesa, so... Can I... Access denied. Can you... can you help me out here? Are we good? A failure of this magnitude is extremely improbable. See, this is the flaw with... with not access giving your fucking denied. technicians access to the rooms they're supposed to be in. Now what do they think I'm gonna do? Steal the resonance cascade? I hope those people... And I certainly hope you know what you're doing. Oh, okay. It's fun that they decided to, to declare which one of these guys was going to be upgraded into a real person. Yo. Okay. I hope he doesn't follow me in here, because that... Okay, note to self, don't stand in front of scripted events. Cause of, cause of death stood in front of, front of a scripted event. I don't have I don't have my iconic crowbar yet. I'm gonna have to ouch. <laughs> I'm gonna have to run. Bye. I suppose that's true. He does let you through the inexplicably locked door that has no reason to ever be locked for you because it doesn't uh, ouch make any sense. Check out those incredible gamer reaction speeds, though. I dodged a laser. Do you know how fast those things go? Can I break this? Oh, I can. This is the, the higher difficulty of the, the difficulties. Oh, jeez. Did I do that? I'm going to find help. <laughs> Sure was convenient that the camera pointed itself directly at this ladder earlier so that I would know it was here. Oh, these are more resilient than I remember. Can I have this gun? Yeah, now I've got a gun. Guns are the best things to have in these kinds of situations, in all honesty. Yep, I'm, I mean, I have played this game before. This is not my first first experience with it. I have played and beaten this game a few times, although I don't know if I played it on hard. I bet that one's alive. You cannot trick me. I'm too wise. The joke here is that I have, um, you know, played a video game before, but genu genuinely... <laughs> A lot of the techniques used in Half-Life 1 were genuinely revolutionary. Ouch. 
Oh, that's me out. I should probably learn to quick save as well. Can I save this guy? He's probably scripted to die. Which I suppose, in a manner of speaking, we all are, ultimately. I should play on a lower difficulty. I wanted to show off my pro gamer skills, but on the other hand, I also don't want to have bad radio of dying constantly. So I am just going to turn that down for ease of life, frankly. Uh, wait, where even is it? Maybe I can't. Can I not turn it down? If anyone knows how to turn the difficulty down, let me know. I've made a terrible mistake. Or, more accurately, you've made a terrible mistake because you told me you could, that I could turn it down during gameplay. Otherwise I'll need to start over again, but... Can I load up the save on a lower difficulty, maybe? Ironically, this is very bad radio. This is possibly the worst radio possible. There must be a way to solve this puzzle. Oh, I see. Consoles, huh? save button in this. I wouldn't be surprised if there was. So I should be on the easier difficulty now. Which way did I even need to- oh, down the thing? No, did I- didn't I just come up here? I suppose that's true, that's fair actually. I have had to solve technical difficulties on other other streams. Oh, is that doing is that doing an auto-aim? I don't want that at all. That's definitely auto-aiming. Why is it auto-aiming? If I can't headshot, what's the point? A headshot's only allowed on hard difficulty? Real fast backswing on this guy. Right, keyboard, mouse, auto-aim, switch off, because that's stupid. Why would anyone ever want auto-aim, especially with mouse and keyboard? Uh, the single most accurate gaming tool known to mankind. Ah, I see. To be honest, I do kind of want to play on hard difficulty, but... I mean... Hard difficulty on games this old are less about... Uh, skill and more about perseverance, I think. Is it normal for this guy to just keep bullets in his locker? I mean, that's an ammo can, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah, no, that explains it. That makes sense. I think that at this point they would have no control one way or the other about whether I um, smoke in the no smoking area. Like, at this point, I would challenge them to catch me. Are any of the other rest of these openable? Doesn't look like it. <sighs> I know it looks like someone died here, but this is just what the break room is like at Black Mesa. I mean, you say it's a good name, but imagine if you your name was Birdwell and then you just absolutely failed to bird. Imagine how embarrassed you'd be if you, Birdwell, just completely fucking failed to bird. 
Oh hey, I can <laughs> I could switch the alarm off. I didn't even realise I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. The gaming instincts kicked in and I pressed the big red button. Oh. Have you ever tried an open face jam sandwich? It's the messiest imaginable food. Well, I suppose that's your point. That was close. Amazing security system they have built in here. Yeah, we had the we had the tech guys install it. It evaporates you. And if that fails, it drops large bits of machinery on you until you are dead. Um a jumping puzzle this early? My god. Aha! There we go. I was joking, but that actually was a jumping puzzle. You can do it, Kleiner. You can do it. Kill the thing. Oh, he did. Good for him. Oh, okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> I respected him while it lasted, but it's a bit late now. This is just me whenever I play a horror game. One of the things that I think is remarkable about this, like I said before that this game genuinely, like, completely revolutionised the genre, and it did. This game was the turning point between the sort of like, oh hey, you're alive, good for you, can, can I help you? Oh, he's done so. This game actually did mark the turning point between um, immersive narrative storytelling being the, the main goal for first person shooters and um, like blasting run and gun antics being the main goal for first person shooters and as soon as basically as soon as Half-Life came out everything else started imitating it Half-Life is the reason we have Call of Duty Lead the way. oh you coming with me okay cool I'll I definitely hear, hear head crabs oh okay up in there. Cool. Okay, well, let's ha let's go away from the blood vent. Like, I definitely know that when I, um... Like, when I did orientation for Black Mesa, the main the main thing they told me was stay away from the blood vents. Like... Where did it go? I refuse to go another step. I'm not in... Well, sure, okay, stay out here and die. There's no skin off my nose. But um, yeah, no, they were very, very adamant about staying away from the blood vents. They weren't clear about why we need the blood vents, but um, who am I to question? Black Mesa employees be like, hey, can I vent? And then they just disappear into the actual vents for about half an hour. It's weird. It's, I was gonna say it's weird, but it's not actually that surprising. The um, overlap that you have between the storytelling methods used in this game and the storytelling methods- Did he kill my guy? No, he's fine. <laughs> and the storytelling methods used in immersive sims, or not even storytelling methods, but game design um, paradigms. Game design paradigms would be a good chapter title for a, a Half-Life, actually. Because it, it did pioneer uh, the use of, of scripting and um, carefully planned set pieces. Why is this as far as you go? Come on, bro. Come on, buddy. Come on. So he says this is as far as I'm gonna go, and then he just... If you say, no, come on, he just will follow you. I love someone who's so obliging. Probably a very good workmate. He's probably really, um, you know, accommodating in the office. Wow, okay, so, like... The lower level of difficulty is literally like twice as easy? Okay. Yes, let's go. How many scientists can I collect? I want the whole set. I assume that the noise that the um the health station makes is the noise of him just jamming it into his arm. The implication is that the... Yeah, I hear something too. I'm sure it's fine. Let's not worry about it. 
What have we got in here? Bullets. I love bullets. Pineapples. Yes. Fantastic. There's nothing better than a pineapple to start your day. It appears the containment system has completely failed. Yeah, no shit, buddy. Are you going to come with me or... Can you climb ladders or are you too old? Yeah, but those are combine health stations. Whereas these are like nice, healthy, normal Black Mesa health stations. I assume there's just a plug socket on Gordon's armor's arm that um I'm going to stay here and wait for my colleagues. Okay, you might be waiting a while, but whatever. <laughs> well that's reassuring at least. If anybody else watching is enjoying my stuff, check out my YouTube channel where I do in-depth let's plays and also go ahead and follow right now. No. Hey, that's it worked. This guy's a genius. He's found he's found the solution. Can I get over the dumpster? Yeah, there we go. He knows how ladders work, he's just, um... Wait, hang on a second, how did he get up there? There's, there's nothing up there. There's no other way out, so... Was he born up there? This just reinforces my theory about the cloning facility in the basement. They just decant them periodically. Ooh, sinister. Like, he was specifically engineered to fill a sp fulfill a specific role, and it involved fixing some kind of broken machinery up there. Now, you, sir, should go and get in the dumpster. Go on. Go on. No, keep, keep moving. Don't, t don't look at me. Look at the dumpster. This way. Come on. To the walls of the dumpster. That's it. In you go. Alright, keep going. <laughs> Over here. Yeah, see? Look, see? There's a friend for you. There's a buddy. Why don't you join in? Alright. Well... You be safe, contemplate the corpses, try not to die, and I'm gonna go do something else. Ow, fuck off. Yeah, that's not impossible, actually. But um, I choose to believe it's morphine being just injected directly. There must be an intravenous link inside the suit. Why must there be an intravenous link inside the suit? Because I said so, and I'm good at video game. I honestly think all of the headcrab zombies look pretty wild. They kind of completely rewrite the bodies of the people that they that they eat or control, I guess. Which is a really cool idea, even if it makes no fucking sense whatsoever. I swear. Yeah, there we go. Not so smart now, are you? Well, I mean, Gordon seems to be one of the only HEV suit qualified personnel. I think he genuinely was hired for his his athleticism rather than for his, uh, you know, scientific capabilities. Because we never see him do any science. All we ever see him do is shoot stuff and run around real fast. So, um, I'd prefer to believe that he has like a, you know, a cybernetically built in stent in his arm. He's just, he's just got a permanent cannula built in. That the Bye. That the thing plugs into automatically. Are they? Do they die when they hit the bottom, or are they? How many? Are, they, are someone throwing them down here? I've never played headcrab pachinko before. <laughs> nice job, jackasses. I suppose the downwards motion of the lift is enough that. The standard head head height jumping animation they have just takes me them over the top. That's actually kind of delightful. No, that's mean. The Barneys are perfectly competent security personnel. They're just not equipped with armor. Ouch, also. Oh, is there secrets down here? Is this game old enough that it has secrets? I think that's the case. In fact, I found one already, even though it's not... It doesn't, like, pop up and say secrets one of 15 found, but there definitely was one. Oh, you want to go mano a mano, huh? <laughs> Oops. If it's in the box, it's... ouch, okay. 
Note to self, don't fall in the grinder. Actually, do you think Gordon Freeman would be on grinder? I mean, I probably can slide down, but I don't want to fall in the grinder again. Ah, ah, screw it, let's go. If I die, I'm going to yell at you. Oh, I can't go back. Okay. <laughs> does its, does its uh, conflict AI break if it falls in there? It does. He doesn't know I'm in, out here, so he won't attack me. Okay. I've successfully tamed. I've successfully tamed one of these things. Gordon Freeman, master of animals. Or, I mean, they're kind of bug-like. I suppose there's no reason why they would conform to earth-based clades. It can hear me, but it can't attack me. And that's the important thing. Also, what the fuck purpose... Actually, no, seriously, what is the point of this? You've got filthy water at the bottom with a big grinder in it, grinding up the head crabs that fall down. But this... this is like a cargo lift. This is a, this is a cargo lift, that's what it's for. And also, yes, I know they don't attack me until they have a visual, that's my point. I have successfully tamed it by trapping it in a box. This is... this is how... This is how humans interact with new animals that they've found. Step one, trap it in a box. Step two, start feeding it things until it likes you. That's all it takes. Can I hop up on this? No, I destroyed the little ones. Oh, there's a shoe. <laughs> there's an awful lot of boxes of military supplies down here. Anyway. Anyway. Um, beepy beepy blinks. I will love you forever, but let's move on. That's its name. I named it BPBP BP Blinks. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> the amazing dedication of that thing. The fucking 360 no scope as it spits in my face, falling to its death after having been teleported from another dimension. Fuck. Well, I'm glad it's saved here. Can I dodge it this time? I did. I did dodge it this time. Pro gamer, uh, pro gamer skills are still building up. Oh well, I mean, I'm fine with fine with higher level reaction speeds, provided I I don't die instantaneously when they shoot me. You know, that's the real important thing. Oh, okay. Where does that go? Oh, I remember that. I know what that means. I suppose these things are like natural predators for head crabs in, in Zen. Which is, in case you've never played this game, uh, the alien world that all this stuff's getting summoned from. If I stand here, I sh should be. S oh. Can he spit through that grate? Well, he can't hit me and I can hit him, which is the important thing. Yeah, no, I think it's a good idea. I think this works out. Will, But the real question is, will it retain that in between... Um, in between... In between loading the game? Or will I have to remember to do that at the start of every stream? Can I add it to the uh, scripting file that I, I added the shader hack to? I say hack, the sh shader reset option to. Oh, it just comes down here. I am literally never going to be short of bullets, I don't think, on this difficulty. These things are called barnacles. Canonically, they have giant great big bodies and they grow into the ceilings and things. How exactly they've managed to do that when they've been, you know, teleported in suddenly doesn't make any sense. So, allow me to present an alternative theory. The, he the uh, barnacles were already here.
like they have gigantic bodies and stuff and they're supposed to just grow into holes in architecture and things so you know either the teleporter always was m just made absolutely sure to make sure they would spawn in in locations that would support their existence which we know is not the case because we've also watched other stuff just like teleport in right above grinders and fall in holes and all of that sort of stuff um I assume that um, the bit with the teleporting is like, he's just knocked out for a couple hours, like he wakes up with an awful fucking headache to discover that terrible things have happened. Ooh, that seems like a bad sign. There's, oh, there's nothing here, it's fine. Nothing to worry about whatsoever. I'm just gonna give myself sepsis real quick, which is uh, the real sign of a true explorer. Let's not step in that again. <laughs> Yeah, so I keep starting to talk about this and then getting distracted by, you know, first-person shooter things happening. But, um, yeah, a lot of these ideas are absolutely um, where a lot of the modern trends of gaming originated. Like, Call of Duty's becoming, or coming into existence as these, like, scripted linear story experiences where, you know, every single step of your way is planned and there's a set piece for everything, that tracks back to Half-Life. It fundamentally changed the way that FPS games were made. And in fact, the main reason why uh, Doom 3 was an, an attempt to be an atmospheric horror experience is because of Half-Life. Doom 3 and Half-Life 2 came out the same year, 2004. A very good year for games, by the way. And... Um, Essentially, Doom 3 tried to ape the original Half-Life in a way that didn't really work, and that's why no one liked Doom 3, because Doom 3 was a Doom, and when you come to a Doom, what you want is... Oh, hey, did the... The shaders for my gun have just completely broken down. That's pretty cool. As bugs go, like, I'll happily watch that one. Oh, it's back again. It must have just been, like, overdoing the, the shading for that room to do shadows. I mean, Doom 3 might very well have been an attempt to make good on the original Doom, but it still also was borrowing um, heavily from techniques developed in Half-Life. The idea of having uh, constant and carefully aimed sight lines that, uh, you know, set stuff up for you. Oh, the, um, the teleporter you take uh, in Half-Life 2 doing a slow teleport is supposed to be weird and new, though. Because Kleiner very definitely says to you, like, you appear to have suffered some kind of slow teleport. How remarkable. When you eventually show up again later. What is that? Is that like a... Is that a Beretta 9mm? It's a nice gun. I like the design. I like the, um, exposed barrel. You good? I don't think that guy's okay. I don't think that head crab's okay either. Could you let me in? Uh, are you gonna help him? Stone cold. This man is stone cold. Either either he's deaf, or he just watched his friend die and does not give the slightest of shits. Okay, cool. Look, there's bits. Your colleague is on your shoes. And you're just looking- don't look at me like that. I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, the irony of slipping. I mean, honestly, it probably should be a Glock in, in this game. Like, that would be a more sensible thing for all the guards to be armed with. Nice plastic Glocks. Let's see if we can get through here without dying. There we go. Yeah, actually, maybe he just never thought to turn around. After all, if it is the meat vent, it's probably fine. I'm just going to make a habit of murdering everything I see that's not a human being. Thoughts I have shared with people stuck in the wilderness. Can I break that? Doesn't look like it. I don't want to. I don't want to die from from giant daisy. Super doesn't look breakable. Oh, 
Oh, no, now that you mention it, you're right. These are not the original models for the game. I have... Look, when I last played this, that was definitely a Glock. How did I forget that? You're completely right. I thought this was the original version of Half-Life 2 when I when I loaded it up, but you're completely right that these are the, the modified later models. Oh, that's just not where I'm supposed to go. Okay. Oh, again? Again? Either we're in a time loop, or this guy is a serial killer. I know it was you. But you win. Everyone's heading for the service. But I think they're crazy, not to say what. Someone is bound to come by and rescue us. Did you know this would happen? Did you know? Did you know this would happen? That's twice now. Yeah, that did make more sense when it was an MP5. Um... Yeah, no, I think that's actually a huge shame. One of my goals with my streams and my Let's Plays, uh, both of them, I do consider them to be different things and different art forms, and I have different goals for streams than I have for Let's Plays, but one of my goals for both of them is uh, to document games in their original form, which is what I thought I was... I get, another one? Okay. You better not forget this, that I saved your life. Next time, next time you see someone walking towards a... a a ceiling barnacle, I want you to warn them. Don't just watch as they die like you did twice in front of me. I can't believe I've worked with you for six years. Six years, Jesus Christ. Reinforced glass my ass. Oh, is it? It's only three months? Fair enough. For some reason I got it into my head that this was actually his first day. I don't know why, <laughs> since it's clearly not. That guy took like twice as many as normal. Is that because he's scripted? Oh shit, is there a HD options in the tab? Straight up, I did not think there was one. Where is video? <gasps> HD models, ah! Oh fuck yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's crunchy, that's nice. Oh, did it switch the OpenGL shaders back on? I'm not sure. Hi, welcome to the stream. In, enjoy my thing. If you don't already, go check out my, my YouTube channel for in-depth Let's Plays. Or continue watching here, follow me here, that's fine too. But, yeah, no, straight up, I can't believe I didn't notice that. I did a test stream earlier and I just, I just did not pick up on the fact that for some reason I had a Beretta instead of a Glock. even get in here like one of the things you notice as you work your way through the black maze of facility is that they just have a lot of logistical problems just a lot of badly designed workflows oh hey i'm nearly out of bullets that thing i said would never happen Do you reckon I can make that? I can make that. Yeah. I'm just gonna get into the habit of doing that every time. Okay, cool. That should let me get in here, which I think leads to yet another secret. I have a torch, right? No one needs no one needs bullets when you have the capacity to smash things into tiny pieces with a large sharp piece of metal. This is a skill we can all use in our daily lives. See? There's even an automated smash things with a piece of sharp piece of metal. Press F to pay respects for flashlight. Haha! -ha. It led around back to where I was previously. It's that thing games like to do. Aha. Uh -huh. 
It looks like I can climb back up with my incredibly strong and muscular robot legs. Which is what I'm going to assume is going to allow Gordon to sprint for about three days solid. You know, I'm going to be real with you, my skull is not for eating. I definitely think I've missed something around here. There's, this, there's something this way or something the other way, and I don't know which way is the thing that I'm not finding. I have played this a bunch, but I played this a bunch years ago. I think it's been about five, six years since my last playthrough. Ooh, that's more like it. That's a tasty shotgun. Is that based on the... is it the Borelli shotgun, I think? Buddy, look out! Shit! Fuck, I'm so sorry! Oh my god! If anyone asks, I'm gonna say that the zombie killed him. No one will ever know my crimes. <laughs> my completely accidental, incompetence-based crimes. Crime incompetence is kind of a, a fundamental skill to have at um, Black Mesa. I'm going to assume that every single thing that they do here is completely and utterly unethical. But you see, if you have a basic competency in crime incompetence, you can get away with saying that it's just total accident. You know, it's all just fuck ups. Oh, we didn't mean to accidentally teleport into another universe and bring its stuff here and destroy the world. It's, it's, it's an accident. Can I? Now, see, with my real human hands, I could I could just open that, but I guess I'll never get in there now. Oh, well. See? <laughs> Press F for flashlight, and also that dude's pretty good. Um, Straight up, I intended to save his life. Much like my physical clumsiness in the real world, um, issuing me with firearms is genuinely a bad idea. The last time that happened in real life, this exact problem occurred then. Fortunately, as a real-ass human person, I could re simply reach through the bars and undo the deadbolt my own damn self. Oh, do I have to crouch jump here? I hate that. As much as I love this era of games, uh, I do not miss crouch jumping into tiny crawl spaces. Well, I mean, you say what am I not telling you, but it sounds like I've told you more than I should have already. Oh, I need to get on this ladder. Aha, there we go. Maybe I should just use the crowbar to open these things. That would probably be more efficient use of my time. <laughs> a more sensible and adult use of my time than sh just simply shooting everything with bullets. Yowza! Why do we have those? Also, amazing noise that guy made. Was, it, was that strictly speaking necessary? Not even science could save him in the end. That's not gonna help, I'm just gonna go, bye! Oh hey, you guys are hiding from the guns too. Fortunately, as a human being I have thumbs, which means I can port my own, uh, port my own firearms around with me. Which is generally speaking to my advantage. Can I turn that off somehow? There must be a switch somewhere. Uh, I sense, I sense that it is not this way. There's nothing quite like, um, I mean, I'm sure I was supposed to lure them into the turret's line of sight, but you know what the turret's line of sight will do if I go into it? It will shoot me with bullets, which is not what I want to happen. Speaking of bullets, aha, a shortcut. You know, in many ways, this was the dark souls of of 2000, of, of 1998, not least with its uh, preponderance of shortcuts. That's an extremely facetious take and is not meant in any way seriously. Time to wait for beeping to stop, which is really not something anyone wants to do. Uh, the thing is that if you watch enough of my streams and enough of my YouTube videos, you will eventually realize when I'm being facetious and when I'm being serious, because as an autism, well, actually, 
with the amount of uh, jokes I make about identifying as a robot, let's just say as a robot, all of my intonation is exactly the same whether I'm joking or serious. About two thirds of what I say is a joke and about one third is serious. But the thing is that sometimes that one third happens to be a uh, critical take, which sounds exactly like a real opinion a human person might have. Can I get up there? Aha! Are we friends now? Fantastic, it's gone to sleep. But, oh, did I smash the only box that would let me get up there? Ah, oh, beans. That was what this box was for. Oh, I fucked up. Okay. Well, I've spent ages solving this puddle, puzzle that I now cannot solve. If I had the rocket launcher, maybe I could rocket jump up there. That's, that's the box I need. That's the right size of box. Hmm. Is there a small box around here to push? Can I move this one? Nope. Oh well, I'll never know what was up there. Ah yes, but wouldn't it have been funny to watch me discover that? Through trial and error, like a true scientist. Like, ouch, what the shit? Like Gordon himself. Hey, you're actually alive. Nice, good for you. We might stand a better chance if we team up. You know, I didn't expect this, but I actually like this face worse than the HD face. My god, man, you have problems. This is just even more evidence to my growing theory that there is a clone farm down in the basement churning these guys out one by one. Oh, wait, there was a small iron box? The box in the hallway I broke already, didn't I? That box I can't move, I don't think. There's no there's no small iron box, there isn't. Oh wait, hang on, all the way from all the way back around here. Ah, okay. So this just shows my incredible dedication to my intense, obsessive collection of all items in a video game. Oh fuck, I've soccer banned myself. For anyone who who doesn't know, soccer ban is a very popular puzzle based system. I it's a very popular kind of puzzle which result revolves around moving boxes. Sokoban itself is, I believe, Japanese for warehouse keeper. And the puzzle involves how to move all the boxes you need to move and all, all the positions you need to move them without getting any of them stuck against walls. See, you can actually push and pull the boxes that way. That's amazing. Oh, wow, you can shove it. You can just scoot that motherfucker right on. Okay. I genuinely never knew that. I don't think I ever found that whenever I played this game previously. I had no idea you could just shove boxes. Oh, I'm actually at full health. What am I doing? Nice. Okay. Well, I'm sure that that's an important skill which I will never remember to use literally ever again. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I'm sure you'll need to owe me very many beers by the end of today. What the dicks? Why is that dead? Did he shoot it? Did he shoot it off my head? You, sir, are a genius with that firearm. Can you? Oh, okay. Who is responsible for this mess? <laughs> Imagine turning the lights off in your own room and then sitting there going, so this is someone else's fault. Now oh, the blood vents are at it again. Honestly, you'd think they'd just install some kind of meat filtration system for the vents, but... Oh! I'm going to stand behind him. Oh, he is good with that. That'll look nice in my trophy room. I mean, it's kind of ghoulish, but sure. Okay, I'm officially declaring this guy better than me. Okay, I take it back. He shot me. That's not okay. <laughs> we are allies, sir. You do not need to shoot me. Am I green wearing some kind of extra dimensional wizard slave collar? No, I am not. Therefore, I am not a valid target for your preciously limited bullets. 
These guys don't need bullets. Are they vulnerable to headshots? I guess they must be. Oh, you fuck. See, that's actually hilarious. Ah, interesting. Good for him. It appears the containment system has completely failed. I'm not so sure I want to go to the surface. What if the world finds out what we were doing down here? Oh, really? What were we doing down here? Do you want to just tell me about that? Or do you want to keep doing your weird little shuffly jig dance? Do do do. Ba ba da ba da ba da ba ba. Ba da 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 da. Ba da ba ba da 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 da. Well, anyway, he can continue to sit in the dark and pretend nothing is happening. I, however, oh, buddy, come on, come the fuck. I have seen people get killed in grinders. I have seen people get killed by three different kinds of alien monsters. I have seen people get eaten by head crabs. I have seen people get shot. How the fuck did this guy die? <laughs> like, that's got to suck, right? You know, you show up in the afterlife and you're like, oh, I, I died during the Black Mesa incident. And they're like, ah, electrocuted by a weird alien. Uh, no. Uh, were you, were you mauled by a zombie? Yeah, you see that shot? No, I also wasn't mauled by a zombie. Well, how did you die? Oh, a lamp fell on me. Oh, like a, a big heavy ceiling in lamp, like an industrial lamp, you know, from the construction complex? N no. No, like a standing desk lamp. And then they do let you into heaven, but only on pity. And then you have to sit there and know it for eternity. You have to just sit there and deal with the fact. That was mine. That was absolutely my kill. Don't try and- oh fuck. See? Definitely my kill. I like this guy. I hope he survives. Okay, I want you to stay there. Do not come to me until I've dealt with this. Oh wait, there's a... Where's the maintenance access sign? The problem with the... Aha, okay. Ooh. I never found this one either. I was, I'm always a very bad secret hunter. I'm decent at playing FPSs, but I'm very bad at like spotting secrets. How do I get in there? You got a bad feeling about this? This corpse in this room full of corpses? Jeez, I wonder why. Can I push a box over here? Well, you see, not to go all forensic analysis on you, but that doesn't make sense with the positioning, because those guys slap things and then they go flying, whereas this lamp was clearly standing in the corner here and fell over, because otherwise there would be no reason to have this couch be so far out from the wall. Uh, you'd save more space on the interior, which would be better for the pathing through this area. You know, people have to come around to talk to the, the receptionist here, so... And just in terms of, like, corporate interior design, that lamp, I guarantee you, was standing tall in that corner. I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, me too, says the guy with a boot on his face. See, I'm jumping from the sofa, and for some reason I'm jumping shorter than normal. Aha, there we go. Oh, look, this must be the interior of the meat pipes. Oh, what the fuck is that there for? What the fuck do you... Who designed this? Who decided that this was a sensible... Oh, actually, maybe this uh, Maybe this window opens. Yeah, okay, that's actually a pretty clever place to put a gun turret if you're going to put a gun turret in a place. I'll stay here and guard this area. I'm just gonna- no, I'm just gonna assume that the guy with the lamp on him, he had brittle bones disease. Um, a tragic and untimely end. Are you coming? Bro, come on. Hey, Buddy. Didn't want to die alone anyway. That's- Don't be such a pessimist. We'll get through this, you and me, together. Like, uh... I'll be Butch Cassidy and you can be the Sundance Kid. Come on. They made it out of that movie, right? <laughs> Yeah, so that's the one that would have surprised me from up there, right? Please don't talk about blood samples. It's not the not the day. Oh damn, really? 
to the live long. Bet you're glad I got this old side arm on me, aren't you? You know, you repeat yourself sometimes. Damn, really? I haven't said a word since I got here. Right hemisphere for a few hours of sleep. Ooh, interesting. Any good trash in there? Are you gonna come with me or what? Like, yes. okay, cool. Come on then. Join the party. Du -du -du -du. Have I been that to a Kleiner has joined I your party. Know what you're doing. Is his is his pathfinding broken? Come with me. Do I have to break this? All right, come on now. Fantastic, it worked. Okay, great. My party's growing. I'll be able to take on some of the higher level threats in in no time. This guy's amazing. Kleiner, come on. Yes, this is as far as I go. No, it's not. Come on. The last guy who said that was lying too. Come on, up the stairs. That's down, that's the opposite way. Fantastic, I can't believe that worked. I'm going to stay here and wait for my colleague. No, you're not, come on. Glad you're going to have to leave me here, Gordon. Let's I refuse to go another step. Fine, but if you die, I'm not gonna mourn you. This is what this is the shortest time between someone joining your party and leaving since like Final Fantasy IX. Let's get the timing right on this. <laughs> a total lack of comic timing on that's brilliant okay i genuinely it, it had explosives written on it and i'm playing a video game i thought it would explode the second i shot it Like, have you ever played a video game? Those things are supposed to go up like a candle instantaneously. Like, I don't know about you, but they are clearly breaking the rules. I mean, that is one of the one of the brilliant things about Valve as a Ooh, okay. Double guard run starts now. Yeah, let's go. Hey, what the hell are you doing down here? Get topside. I hear troops are coming in to save us. Are you talking to him? It's really funny to me that um you know, Gordon's no good, very bad day basically consists of people telling him to get the fuck to the surface and that everything he does only takes him deeper into this horrible place. This feels like an ambush. Am I going to get ambushed if I come down here? I bet I am. I wonder if the contents of the crates is random. Ah, oh, fuck. So would you two Yeah you did, you got him. Well he got you. Would you guys like to have some kind of a conversation about your professional conduct? Like, I know I'm not technically part of the security team, but I really, really think you guys might want to have a conversation with your superiors about what just fucking happened. You think you should be trusted with a firearm? Oh, I've never, ooh, I've never used a grenade. I should use grenades. Shit. Oh no. Oh, I fucked up so bad. <laughs> I'm never touching a grenade ever again. Of course, the real irony is that that happened right after all that shit I was saying about him not shooting his buddy in the back. Let's try and do that properly this time. Oh, it didn't spawn in. That's not fair. I thought I was going to use my time powers to cheat. Interesting. So that guy only appears if you grab the the stuff. I wonder why. I wonder if it's tied to stepping on there or if it's tied to actually picking up the thing. I don't know how the scripting works well enough to make a judgment on that. The scripting works well enough. Ha! Yeah, I mean, grenades are pretty weird. It's a curious concept, you know. Why don't you carry enough explosives to completely vaporize you? Uh, 
in your pocket while you go do things. Other things that may, ouch, not involve. Okay, I see where this is going. Let's try not to do that again. Fantastic, it worked this time. Anyway, what I was going to say is that there's actually a really interesting level of um, kind of immersive sim design to Half-Life, despite the fact that it's still a linear shooter. Gordon's ankles are fine because he has the incredibly well-designed HEV suit. Which, as we all know, has convenient ankle re ankle reinforcements. Interesting, I did not know that about frag grenades. Most of my dumb nerd knowledge about weapons is just pointing at firearms in movies and going, Haha, I recognise that. Ow, fuck off. I don't have enough hit points for you to be doing that. Oh, I mean, if he ever takes the suit off, he will immediately liquefy into a small pool of gel on the floor. This is why you never ever see Gordon take the suit off in any of these games. <gasps> More grenades that I don't need. More shotgun that I definitely do need. What a convenient room. Who the fuck's office is this? Professor Guns? Dr. Boom? Wait, no, that's a character from World of Warcraft. You know, I did not realise that would run out of juice. Where are my guys? Where are my buddies? Can you come with me? Okay, I'll secure this area. No, come with me. Yeah, come on, lads. The rowdy boys are back in town and we're going to the cafeteria. Obviously having a large amount of um, red-hot shrapnel flying through the air is harder to simulate than uh, simply having a big AoE kill effect. Hell of a party, clearly interrupted. Unfortunately they are now all partying in hell, and they will be going to hell because they are evil scientists who do unethical experiments. I don't personally believe hell exists, but I think it's reasonable to assume that in a setting that canonically has extra-dimensional places, there's probably somewhere that's hell, right? Hey, where's your butt? Where's the other guy? I lost a guy. Where's my guy? I'm collecting them like, uh, like pogs. What's what, where the fuck did he go? Come on. A lot of people make the mistake of overstuffing their parties with scientists for the, uh, you know, stacking cumulative buffs that you get. But first off, that's only uh, really works if you upgrade them right at the, at the correct level points. And honestly, um, they die so quickly because they don't have any good armor that it's not really worth the effort of trying to level them up in the first place. If you just actually stack security me team members, um, if you fill your party with them, they actually have good enough synergies even without built-in um, built buffs. Dialogue does get a bit repetitive, though. But yeah, so there's a surprisingly large amount of immersive sim DNA to this game, which is interesting considering it came out a year... I think a year before um, System Shock 2. Ah, damn, I looked that up yesterday and I cannot for the life of me remember. This would have been 1998, right? And I think System Shock 2 was 1999 and then... No, it can't have been, because Deus Ex was 1990. Ah. You know what? I will take my notes for next time. I never bothered to make, like, extensive notes for my streams the way I do for my Let's Plays. Sir, you shouldn't be running in here. It's extremely risky. Got one. 
Hi, Mavarinthia. Welcome to the this. Well, yeah, they do synergize. The thing is that if you do enough DPS fast enough, nothing can stand up to it. It's really useful for some of the bosses later, especially when you can get the integer underflow to kick off and... Um, uh, you can basically do a limit break without even trying. Incidentally, when I was saying earlier about my about whether you can tell or not, whether or not you can tell if I'm being facetious, that was me being facetious. Well, it's not just a wet floor. This is a food storage area. See that shot? Under OSHA standards, this has to be kept at um, like a minimum of, I think, two degrees Celsius, assuming this isn't frozen storage, in which case it needs to be below zero, which means that the floor is going to be covered of covered with ice. Like, we've seen that Black Maze's um, automatic, you know, systems clearly aren't up to the up to the task of... Uh... Oh, my guys are in trouble. Clearly aren't up to the task of keeping this place in good nick. Uh, we've seen things breaking constantly, so... Logically, it's fair to assume that this uh, food storage facility... Oh, that's what I did. I started moving that. Okay. It's cold enough that the floor is icy. Is what I was actually getting at. I don't actually, is the floor slippery? I always thought it was, but I don't seem to lose control with my movement. I'm pretty sure it's fine. Well, it does also mean that um, none of this food is safe for human consumption now. What's this made of? Once it's, um, once it's been defrosted, uh, it's not safe to use any anymore, especially if it begins to refreeze, which presumably it will when, you know, the army who's here to save us save everybody and we reinitialize all of the the building systems. The real trick here is not to get crushed by this thing which definitely happened to me at least once. <laughs> what exactly they need it for is a mystery. Like many of the other logistical weirdnesses about the Black Mesa uh, facility, there is just... Now I should have seen that coming. There is just, like, stuff in places that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't uh, connect to any kind of upper gantry, and it just goes between two vents, but it has boxes on it, and someone put them up there for some reason. This is actually one of the... Well, I have a theory about this. This is interesting. So, like, these bones must have been here for a long time, right? That's two skulls. At least two people died in here. Oh, actually, no, I guess it's from these things. I was gonna go on a... I was gonna go on, go on a whole bit about, like... How clearly unsafe Black Mesa must have been as a facility, that there's all these, like, bones and stuff around in the vents that have clearly been there for a long time, because look at them, they're, they're clean bones, but I believe these things spit out bones when you kill them sometimes. So logically, their stomach acids are just sufficient to, to clean down to the bone very swiftly. But yeah, so the interesting thing about the level designs in the original Half-Life is that it is at this fascinating crossing point between uh, the stage at which games were were Dooms, Doom clones even, like, you know, 1998 is only five years after uh, the re Doom was released in 1993, so now is not the time for reloading. You know, everyone makes fun of the Remember to Reload Mr. Freeman line from the sequel that they chant constantly, but do you know what? I have forgotten to reload every single time. So those guys actually do serve a pretty valuable service. Quake and Doom were unreals. Yeah, there were plenty of other shooters that were, that were Dooms as well. Are you the same guys? Oh, oh no, do I have to leave them behind in the freezer? They'll never know what happened to me. I hope they make it out of the the facility and spend the rest of their lives together and they're just like, hey, do you remember that time when, when we were in Black Mesa? When everything was terrible and Gordon Freeman was like, don't worry, I know exactly where to go. And then he disappeared into the vents and left us and he left us to die, but we made it out okay anyway. Anyway, back to what I was doing. Yeah, sure. Elevators are out of order. 
But we can still climb. Yeah, but would you mind coming with me? Can you stand in front of some bullets for me? Oh, hey, this... You could have opened that door before I came through here. Oh, does that mean that I can rescue my guys? Out the way, Kleiner. I don't care about you. My buddies, my boys, the rowdy boys. I have to rescue them. I, I, I reckon that Aperture Science as a research facility was safer than Black Mesa because Aperture Science, when it was functional, was functional. You coming with me or what? That's two. I should be able to add a third. This is this is going great. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, interesting. So the water is slippery. So that's actually, I guess, a design trick. You can't get back through because the water is slippery um, and the door shuts behind you. So we can't get back through. So I guess I do have to leave you here. Do you? I mean, there's plenty. There's plenty of food. They'll be fine. I can just leave them here. It's it's not a problem. Let's not worry about them. I was going to ask them how many bullets they had and if they'd remembered to save one each. Um, but fortunately, fortunately, that won't be an issue because look how much food there is. And as they do keep saying, the army is on the way to save us. <laughs> well, look, if I wasn't going to be a 2010s internet person, then um, why would I be streaming in the first place? But yeah, so like, the level design is at this fascinating interstitial point where the levels are still being designed very much in the way that, you know, linear shooters were designed. But it also is beginning to wrap these storytelling elements into that system. So you still have these completely arbitrary sequences of events. Go here, do that, don't think about it too hard. Uh, you know, knock this hole in there, go through this the only vent that you can enter and just trust that you'll be able to get out at the other end. And naturally, you eventually can get out at the other end. Which doesn't make any logical or logistical sense for the building itself. And I'll pick up on that again later on when more egregious things happen. But remember the crates room we went through earlier? One of the first jumping puzzles in the game is just a room full of, full of crates hanging in empty space for some reason. Uh, there's no, like, gantries or handrails or anything. It doesn't make any sense as a physical location. So... The real difference between, you know, shooters and for uh, immersive sims and the real turning point for the differentiation between those two genres happened relatively soon after this as people designed things like um, System Shock 2 and then the original Deus Ex, which um, had a much more intentional uh, design idea behind it, where, where spaces were began to be designed in a way that made sense as living spaces. When you look through when you look through the the office area back there, you know it doesn't actually make sense in terms of a floor plan the way the office floor plans are actually designed. Then when you start to immersive sims start to exist, you start to see actual spaces designed to look like actual physical spaces that function in the way that those physical spaces should function. And um, it's just really interesting to come back to the games that were at, at exactly that turning point. And also, as I mentioned before. Like, the game that was responsible for, um, general first person- Damn, nice roll! It's good. Where did he go? You, sir, have a real energy to you. Like, honestly, I respect this guy. I respect him as much as I did the Rowdy Boys downstairs. Speaking of which, can I pick up that third guard? Where did he go? Come with come with me. Come with me if you want to live. Fantastic. Let's go. Alright, so now that I've lost the other two in that scripted event where they where they leave your party um, and go do their own side quests for a while, uh, I will now, of course, be showcasing the... Uh, synerg synergistic combo between the buffing powers of the scientist class and the combat powers of the security personnel class. Let's see if we can hop through here. Yeah, there we go. Can I smash this as well? Oh, that's the I can't smash this noise. I I genuinely love the sound design in these old... Oops, that was accidental. Uh, <laughs> in uh, these old, like, old Valve games. I think a lot of them were adopted into the Source engine later. 
But there's nothing quite like that delicious pong, pong, pong noise as you as you hammer your uh, smashing implement of choice on things. Are you okay? A a a. Hold on, 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 on. Uh, how do I? Oh, I need to sprint here. You know, believe in yourself and you'll be able to do this too. Come on, let's go. It would have been amazing if I fell the fuck down. I'm on my way, hey, hey. The audio in here is really weirdly bugged. Oh, he couldn't make it. I don't see his body though. I'm going to believe that he's fallen into a, a zen warp and is, is fine on the other side. Just because, you know, it's better to believe these sorts of things when you're in these disaster scenarios than to just completely accept that everything is terrible forever and that man is now dead. Am I stuck in here? Is this the end of Dr. Gordon Freeman? PhD in firearms? MSC and hitting things with a crowbar. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was making that harder than it had to be. For God's sake, open the silo door! They're coming for us! Our only one. Oh my god, we're doomed! I like that guy's spirit. Oh, okay. A lot of terrible things happening here today. There's definitely a way in there. A HEV charger. Considering there's only three suits in the entire facility, it's not surprising that there's only rare chargers. So I'm going to assume that something will explode me if I come around this corner. Because that's what happened to this guy. Did you stand on a landmine? Why do we have landmines in here? I wonder if I can, f I wonder if I can fit through. I bet I can fit through there if I'm careful. On the other hand... On the other hand... Can I...? Hmm, I may have caused myself more of a problem than I solved here. I really hope I can open this back up again, because I thought that would open this door, but it did not. It's really interesting that they let you fiddle with the fire doors in this area. It's a mechanic that doesn't really exist for any reason. I don't remember there ever being like a puzzle or a like a combat bypass or whatever that you could do with them. All right, let's make sure to quick save before we step into whatever these are. Oh fuck! Wait, does this crate crate say explosives on it? I sh that's not the one I should be hiding behind. <laughs> oh beans! Oh, I've got a gun now. I've got a... This is, what is this? MP, MP4 or something? So that was about the most risky thing I've done so far, hiding behind a box clearly marked explosives while shooting at an auto turret. But you know what? It worked out for me and that's the important thing. Power level 100%. This is going fantastically. Ha, that one didn't even bite me. I win at head crabs. To be honest, head crab sounds like some kind of really unpleasant skin condition. Oh, I've got head crabs again. I need to go to the doctor. I need to go get some some cream for my scalp to get rid of my head crabs. And then your workmate is just like, why are you telling me this? I believe it does still have the grenade launcher. I do not believe it has any grenades. They have a they have a separate um a separate ammo tracker for the uh, the underslung grenade launcher, which makes sense because you can't just jam a like a World War Two looking pineapple down the <laughs> down the grenade launcher barrel of a of a submachine gun. That is not actually how that works in real life, and therefore it's not how it works in this video game, which, as we can all agree, is in completely identical to real life. Oh, interesting. Okay. So what I just discovered there is that um, 
If you move backwards at the same time as you throw the grenade, apparently it cancels out the uh, the momentum and it drops at your feet. Which would not be a problem if um, if Gordon Freeman was a European scientist rather than American. All Europeans are inculcated with uh, extreme football skills at an early stage of life, which is very useful for... Can I not open this? Which is extremely useful for doing things like kicking grenades away from you. If I can't open that, that's going to be a problem. It's not doing anything. Oh no! This is terrible. How, do, how the fuck do I do that then? Are you supposed to just get stuck? Oh, okay. Well, I was starting to panic and it was completely unnecessary, which is usually what happens when I panic. I should take care of that. The thing about landmines is they do that they do not account for the capacity of someone to um, have about 14 grenades on them at all times. One of the advantages of Gordon's HEV suit is both that it takes care of his ammo for him, and also that it, it augments his strength, which is why he's just breaking shit all the time. Never reload in a doorway, that's one of the basic rules that you learn when you play Call of Duty too much as a teenager. Uh, which, unfortunately, I did, even though Call of Duty is, by all accounts, a fucking terrible game. The Call of Duty multiplayer consists of running in a circle and waiting for someone in front of you to die so that you can get some points, and then someone behind you shoots you in the back of the head, and it's just... It's just some kind of en endless loop, primarily... Primarily based around shooting people in the back of the head, over and over and over and over. Can I get in there? There must be a way. Aha, can I get up there? Can I move this table? I can move the table. Fantastic. That should do it. I'm just going to table the motion. <laughs> that doesn't seem high enough to me, actually. Oh, that's not going to work. Is there a bigger box, maybe? Did I smash all of the boxes in the previous room? Ah, that might do it. Can I hop on these? No, that means the table might be big enough. Can I move these? Apparently not. Apparently explosives- Ouch! Jesus Christ! Straight up, I thought that those would uh, not explode if I hit them with a crowbar. So they can resist several bullets, but no crowbar hits. This is, this is interesting, the physics of this world. I'm learning a lot about them as we go. Sure, where do I have to go to get up there? I mean, maybe there's something down here that leads back around. Not my smartest decision. Playing Half-Life is just a sequence of incredibly poor decisions that Gordon Freeman makes over and over and over again. That one explode itself? It's like half a guy's face. I think... I think we're alright now. Pop. Bits everywhere. I mean, really, as an inveterate scientist, my, in my instinct is to start scraping bits off the walls to, you know, keep track of biological samples and so on, so that I can eventually an eventually analyse them when I get back to the lab, but you've got to remember that Gordon Freeman is not actually a scientist, he's barely a technician. Oh yeah, indirect fire, that's why people love grenades. Is there another one? I can definitely hear beeping. These are exactly the same noises I make when I'm distressed. I do not seem to be able to jump over that. Oh, hi. I should probably stop wasting these. You know, you never have too many grenades in your pocket. Is there- are the crouch jumping in this game? Is that a mechanic? Are you supposed to just know that you can do that? Yeah, exactly. Like, 
Let's just kind of, um... Oh, there was another thing. Where even is it? Ow! Jesus Christ. There we go. But yeah, it's, um... It's, it's interesting how little onboarding there is. There is a tutorial mode you can go through, but I don't think it's very clear about your capacity to crouch jump. Um, but it was not it was not really uncommon for games back then to have very limited onboarding processes that never really told you what you were supposed to be doing or how to do it. Which again is this kind of interesting halfway point between, between modern games design and uh, games design back there. Um, unfortunately, I am a terrible person and therefore only speak English, so I don't- I don't actually know what you're saying. Pop. Please, please do not get in the way of that laser beam, thank you. Ah, beans, I fucked up. Well, maybe we're okay anyway. Oh, interesting, puzzle time. I mentioned soccer band puzzles earlier and this is weirdly relevant. Oh, fuck. I break a hole in one of these. That's true, they did have paper manuals back then. Um, but there is a difference between reading how to do something in a paper manual and discovering kind of how to do it more organically in a game. One teaches you in a much clearer way how to actually do stuff and you retain the knowledge better, or at least I do. I hope there aren't any more of those, because I don't want to fall down that shaft. So in this puzzle, you have to soccer ban yourself, which is fun. Holy shit, I nearly killed these guys. Are you bleeding out from shrapnel, or are you good? Because that thing went off like four feet away from you. Don't walk through the thing. Don't, don't walk through the thing. Of course. I mean... Oh, there's hostile and there's hostile, you know? There's there's a lot of hostile things in the world. I mean... Oh, hey, it's that guy. He does not care. I think that's the third time we've spotted G-Man, who is one of these interesting features of this game, which is, you know, if I shoot that, are they going to die? Can I tell them to move back? Right. Ah, okay, great. Now that you're over here, you won't be hurt. Ah. I... Hmm, okay. <laughs> oh wow, I fucked up. I thought they were far enough away. I thought they'd be okay. Hey, I did it. I made it past these lasers this time. Well... <laughs> Okay, right. Well, uh, our beans. Oh dear. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, oh dear, what a disaster. I didn't mean to kill them, it was an accident. I will never be forgiven for this terrible thing I have done. Fortunately, there's no witnesses and no one was around to... to... Oh shit, a witness. Well, I... okay, I mean, I guess I don't have to worry about the witnesses anymore. This is just going to be one of those endless chains of witnesses where someone witnesses every murder. Alright, was that the last one? Is that the last witness in the chain? I think I'm good now. Which just means I need to get out of the facility without murdering any more of my former colleagues. I say former because I think it's reasonable to assume that my employment here has ended at this stage. Just imagine in the sequel where you've got, um, what's his name, Breen, going on about, we're not so different, you and I. We've both done terrible things for the right reasons. And you know, when I played that game as a kid, I was like, hey, I haven't done any terrible things. I'm Gordon Freeman. All I really do is run around and shoot aliens. But you know what? You know what? I think Gordon maybe does have a few things on his conscience. Because you know what? I sure do. <laughs> Hmm, I wonder if I can save that guy. Oh 
Oh, they have grenades. That's something to be worried about. Time to start the exciting run-and-gun gameplay for which this series is famous. There's a lot of really interesting things about the way the AI works in this game, and I'm probably going to say a lot of things that will immediately be told... Uh, that you guys will immediately tell me are completely incorrect, but one of the delightful things about them is that they basically work backwards. In order to feel like you have, you know, believable opponents in a game, there's various things that the AI is programmed to do. Because obviously the computer has perfect knowledge of everything you're doing at all times, no matter what. But, uh, so, you know, there's a lot of tricks that are used to fake convincing AI. And one of the clever innovations this game made, one of the more subtle ones, I say, well, you know, regurgitating incredibly normal things to say about this game that are incredibly common opinions to have. So therefore the stalest of takes. You know, the takes that are left on the table at the end of the party that no one really wants, but you eat it the next day anyway because, like, well, you spent all this money. Anyway. Uh, yeah. It's that, um, the AI communicates what it's doing to itself. So the AI will, um, throw a grenade, or decide to throw a grenade, and then it will have one of the other soldiers yell, throw a grenade. And then that original soldier will throw the grenade. And this makes it look like they're communicating, even though obviously they're run by the AI, which is just an immortal, um, super prescient being that knows everything at all times. Oh, I've seen these before. I probably should have checked to make sure there wasn't another scientist around that corner first, but hey! <laughs> I've never done my due diligence before, and I'm not about to start now. I think due diligence is for people who do not have large numbers of firearms. In this way, I am truly learning to become an American. In fact, I think that the amount of care you should have to take is inversely proportional to the amount of firearms you have. By the end of this game, I will be armed like a small nation and no one will be able to stop me. Did that set off the other one? Yes, it did. Okay, right. I'm just going to wait here until it cools down. Ouch. Okay. How long does it take for a, a, an awake turret to go back to sleep? I mean, it must be a really boring job, right? Your, your job is to stand there and beep at people, and then if you see something strange, you explode it with your bullets. But... How long has it been standing there, you know, before it started to... Know, maybe I can just throw. Who dares wins, as they say. Oh, I got both of them. Ha, I'm amazing at this. Oh, shit. That was close. Is this back where I started? Oh, no, it's not. Guys, you probably shouldn't just run, bli run blindly into places because there are... There are men with guns who might kill you and... Through no fault of my own, I may be one of them. Oh, hey, that guy fell in the thing. Yeah, it is. It's fascinating, isn't it? Well, say what you will about that guy. At least he ate, like, three bullets for me before he died in the middle of his science soliloquy. Oops, that was... I will treasure your memory even as I have destroyed your corpse. Look, I mean, the thing about murder is that it's it's a really very variable position, you know? Like, what is a murder, really? It's... Can I get that stuck on? Nope. You know, a murder is a murder is a murder is a murder. Is it a murder when I kill a barnacle in order to protect myself from its sticky tongue? See, this is why I don't normally don't normally stream and let's play FPSs, you know? Because I inevitably end up doing accidental war crimes. Just one of them left. Yeah, shower me in that delicious gunk. That's all we really want in life is to be showered with bright red goo. Um 
Or perhaps that is the uh, Zine upbringing. Actually, no, it's not Zine, is it? Zine is the one from uh, Heroes of Might and Magic, or the Might and Magic series in general. This is, in fact, Zen. It's a very important difference. Very difficult to keep track of the difference between the two. They're very subtle, but, you know, one is a fantasy world full of magic and mystery, and the other contains some of the worst jumping puzzles of um, 2000 and 2008. Yeah, I suppose, actually, it is fascinating that they went to such effort to invent the meat vent and um, install it throughout the facility, only for, uh, for them to discover an extra-dimensional creature which actually replicates that basic human need. Like, these creatures have evolved in a completely different biosphere, un under, as the amazing quote classical quote goes, the anvil of different suns. Um, and yet, somehow, they've evolved perfectly to fulfil that basic human niche, that basic need to be covered with red goo periodically. Just enjoying the soundscape at this point. Anyway, we're coming up on my self-imposed two-hour limit, so as soon as we're through this section, I think I will call it a night. That's not good. I was going to say props to that guy, because that was a really good throw, but on the other hand... Like, I mean, they are soldiers. It's kind of their job to know how to throw grenades good, right? On the other hand, they're American soldiers, so who knows, really. It might be their job to throw grenades incredibly badly into well-populated areas that they really shouldn't. I'm taking way more hit points than I really want to lose. Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Sometimes you just get riddled with bullets. Oh, they didn't throw a grenade this time. I was wondering if it was scripted. I can, though. I can do that too. We all have grenades. Isn't it fun when everybody has grenades? Did that guy explode himself? I think he straight up exploded himself. There's at least one more in here, I think. Hiding somewhere, waiting to ambush me with bullets. I do not wish to have my uh, components separated by hot shards of metal travelling at um, the speed of sound. Like, I don't know if you've ever tried it, but it's just generally really unpleasant. I was down here earlier. I didn't go through here, so I want to see what's inside. Well, I mean, as we established earlier, Gordon was on the athletics team. You know, he had a sports scholarship, but I reckon he was track and field. I don't think he was, uh, I don't think he was on the football scholarship, so it completely makes sense that he wouldn't know how to throw. Super good. It's also where he got his hero complex from, because, you know, on a, on a football team, yeah, there's the quarterback, but also, you know, you have to work as a team to some extent. You can't uh, rely on yourself and no one else. But as a track member, oh boy, you do get to be the actual star. I really hope no one was hiding behind that. Oh, well, I mean, if he had been hiding behind it, I would not have cared. Because, frankly... Anyone this bad at basic firearms safety deserves to be shot 15 times and die. And other terrible things that video games make you say. I love these little guys, though. Even from the start of the game, they're running around. I've never understood whether they're supposed to be normal Earth cockroaches, or whether they're supposed to be weird, freaky alien cockroaches. Is there nothing else up here? I thought there would be more stuff. Oh, it's a way to get the drop on these turrets. That's what it is. I am very clever. Now, okay, listen, I haven't committed war crimes today because I am not actually a member of an actively serving military uh, force. Technically, nothing I do can be a war crime. Everything I do is an ordinary crime. You know, it's really interesting because this game is absolutely iconic. It's deeply beloved. And yet, even to this day and age, it's full of bugs. They're just everywhere. Constant. I think I trod on one. Hey, 
Hey, topical humour. Haha, <laughs> grim. Actually, I guess it's not even topical humour because that's a joke that you could make at any point in like the last 40 years. There was just a point at which we stopped caring. Oh, I say we. There was a point at which those in power just became able to completely escape all consequences forever. Ooh, bullets. I love bullets. They're my um, favourite self-propelled form of... Actually, hmm, technically they're not self-propelled, right? Because it has to have ongoing propellant to counter self-propelled, which is why like a gyrojet pistol is a self-propelled thing. Because it's firing little rockets. And bullets aren't self-propelled because they're propelled by the accelerant inside the shell, which then blasts the bullet and the bullet flies out by itself, leaving the shell behind. So I guess they aren't self-propelled. Bullets are my favourite non-self-propelled means of putting sharp bits of metal in another human being. This is the world's slowest elevator. I should actually remember to reload Dr. Freeman periodically. This is like the fifth time I've realised I've completely forgotten. I'm just going to hide in here for a minute. I mean, lawn darts are pretty good. They are up there. Would you guys let up for like half a minute? I'm trying to find a good stopping place so that I can go to bed. Gordon Freeman running around after like two days of gunfights just being like, please, I just want to sleep. I didn't wear my helmet today. Do you have any idea how bad my tinnitus has become? Please stop shooting me with your bullets. At least use a rail gun or something. They're not so loud. Oh, hey, I have six hit points. That is not ideal for me. Can I go back? Can I go back down to where there was health and shielding and things? Please give me hit points, somebody. Oh, aha! Fantastic, a whole box full of hit points. Exactly what I needed. Well, a box with about five hit points in. Still, that's better than nothing. How many are left? Well, at least the guy who threw that fucking grenade. Was it you? I bet it was you. I do not trust the Red Beret guys, I think they're the ones who are up to something. I think it's all their fault, probably, in the in the long run. Could you- could you stop that? You know what, I need cover. Oh, thank goodness. I don't think any of them have actually killed, like, Oh, right, you're putting words in my mouth, not the soldier's mouth. Fair enough. Can I get in there? I can. Fantastic. Maybe it'll be a bit fucking quieter. World's noisiest video game. Whoops, that was close. Haha, <laughs> I nearly fell to- oh shit, there's guys. Could you not, like, could you not for four fucking seconds, guys? Oh, it's quieter in here. That's nice. A nice little rest. Ah, uh, fuck. I like that he said- <laughs> Wow, absolute fucking, like, soldier of the year right here. Throw the grenade, wait five seconds, then yell grenade and die in your own shrapnel blast. Absolute genius. That high level training is what it is. I wonder if any of them fall in that thing and get blended, like the like the guys from Zen who just teleport in. Anyway, having escaped from the absolute fucking geniuses upstairs, you know, the American military's greatest brain trust, 
I'm going to hide in these vents for a bit, and that is probably where I'm going to end this stream for tonight. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, these streams get uploaded to my YouTube channel a few days later. I also make high quality Let's Plays on YouTube, which have a Monday, Wednesday, Friday release schedule. Go check those out. Give me a follow on here, give me a follow on there. And thank you so much to my Patreon patrons. And thank you all for watching, thank you for listening, thank you for being funny in chat as well, much funnier than me. And I will see you all on another day. I think Monday, 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 Monday Wednesday, Friday is my stream schedule as well, but you know. Don't think about it too hard. It's fine. I will catch you all later.